Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Ava, and I'm here to talk about the summer of Tessa Dare read along. Okay, I am so thrilled to be a part of this. So Rachel from Rachel Reads and Sings is kind of the little mother of this read along. Um, but for the whole summer, we are going to be doing a read along for books by Tessa Dare. This is going to be hosted by Rachel from Rachel Reads and Sings, Tiffany from Tip Talks Pages, Samantha from Books with Samantha, and B from Mama Needs to Read Romance and myself. So the five of us are going to be hosting this read along and I am so excited. All of us love Tessa Dare and I can't wait to just talk about her all summer long. This read along is going to be starting on May 21st and then it will end on July 30th. So from towards end of May to end of July, which is perfect for me because, because I work at a school like my job ends around the same time. So that is just perfect. And school starts back up in August. Rachel made some beautiful graphics. So I'll be showing them on the screen, but uh, we'll be only reading three of Tessa Dare's series. I believe she has two more that are more on her backlist, but we're gonna be focusing on her three most recent series. So we're going to be reading the Spindle Cove series, the Castles Ever After series, and the Girl Meets Duke series. And we're gonna be kind of reading them in chunks and doing live shows based on the certain, certain books that we read. You'll see in a second. I forgot to mention, the read along technically starts on May 21st, but you can start at any time because that is the start of our live show. Our first live show is going to be on May 21st on Rachel's channel, talking about these two books, which are the first book and then the novella following it. So you would probably want to start these books before the 21st. So I would say at the beginning of May, be sure to read these two books. This is uh, A Night to Surrender, which is book number one in this Middle Cove series. And then, whoop, that's upside down. Once Upon a Winter's Eve is book number 1.5, which is like a little Christmas novella that's really fun. And on June 4th, we have the next two books in the series, which is A Week to Be Wicked. And then I don't have a physical copy, but it's on the graphic. Uh, book number three in the series, which is A Lady by Midnight. And that one's gonna be on Samantha's channel. Then the next live show is going to be on my channel on June 18th. We're going to be talking about number 3.5 in the series, which is Beauty and the Blacksmith. Then we have book four in the series, which is Any Duchess Will Do, and the next novella, which is Lord Dashwood Missed Out. I love these novellas so much and the main book that I have on this list. So I am very excited that we're going to be talking about these on my channel. Then on July 2nd, we're going to be on Tiffany's channel where we talk about the first two books in the Castles Ever After series. First one being Romancing the Duke and second one being Say Yes to the Marquess amazing books as well. I read all these books, by the way, but I cannot wait to reread them. Then on a B's channel on the 16th, we are going to be reading the next books in the series, which is When Scott Ties the Knot and Dropped the Book. And then Do You Want to Start a Scandal is the next book. So we're going to talk about both of those on B's channel. And then we're going to wrap the whole readathon up on July 30th on Rachel's channel with the entire Girl Meets Duke series. There's supposed to be book number four out, but that's been like pushed back for forever. So currently there are three books. There's supposed to be four. It's not out yet. Tragic. I know. Um, we're all dying for The Bride Bet. Okay. Don't ask me how long I've been waiting for that book, but it's okay. It's fine. We're going to be reading these three books. I got on a little tangent, um, but we're going to be talking about these on Rachel's channel as well. I love all of these books. All of these books are fantastic, especially if you want to get into the historical romance genre. Tessa Dare, I feel like, is a great starting point. And I think this is a great opportunity to pick up a historical romance if you haven't yet, because they're fantastic. And then you get to read along with a bunch of other people and then get to chat about it later. Like, sounds like an amazing time to me. So I'm very excited to be doing this with some lovely ladies who all love Tessa Dare as much as me. And then I also might do like a personal challenge for myself to read like the more backlist titles because I haven't read the two series that take place before these that she's written before these. So I own a few of those books, but um, that's like a personal thing of mine that I think I want to do because I have read all these and I kind of want to say that I've read all Tessa Dare. So we'll see. <laughs> anyway, um, let me know if you're going to be participating down below. I am so excited to talk about these books with everyone and especially my co-hosts for this. Um, be sure to go check out everyone else's announcement video. They'll all be linked down below if I can get there quick enough, um, but all their channels will be linked down below.
right when you click on the video. I am very excited for this upcoming summer, for the summer of Tessed Air. And um, thank you so much, Rachel, for putting this all together. I love you so much. Let me know down below, again, if you're gonna be participating and what your favorite Tessed Air book is. I would love to know. If you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me the girl and the dancing dress emoji. <laughs> But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye, y'all.